So could you share your perspective in what context it might make sense to have a single token model versus a dual token model? Yeah, so so this is this is uh, pretty much going taking taking what I was talking about before. I think that the common uh, the con common criticism is that there's like this liquidity division problem where if you have two tokens, some of the liquidity is going towards one token and some of it is going to another. Um, I don't really buy that argument because if we assume that that's true, then there's also liquidity being stolen for the NFTs. So if you have assets, the you could argue that there's liquidity being stolen uh, for those assets. As long as the two tokens, right, as long as this governance token and this utility token are very distinct and have completely different roles, um, a two token model is perfectly fine and it makes sense, right? If your governance token is just used as a utility token, then definitely you're spreading, uh, you know, you're spreading wealth around that doesn't need to be spread around. Um, but you know, if we look at it, you know, let's compare the utility token to an NFT. Well, the utility token, it's clear what its what its objective is. It's clear that it's a completely different object than an NFT. They serve not the same purpose. So you can't argue that you're splitting your 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 liquidity across these assets. I think of the the governance token in the same way. Um, in fact. I, I really see the governance token as um, kind of this like political NFT, uh, or I guess, you know, it's fungible. Um, so it's in, in that way, it's not an NFT, but it is really almost a gameplay mechanic. Um, it's a government mechanic. Um, and, you know, in the in the Star Atlas ecosystem, for example, we see dramatically different behavior uh, between the two currencies, right? People, if they did not, if Polis didn't exist, for example, they wouldn't hold more Atlas. They would hold more ships. Same goes for Atlas. If Atlas didn't exist, they would, you know, they would swap into probably Seoul or something like that. Um, so, so at least in our ecosystem, players are doing very different things with these different currencies. Um, you know, they're they're investing, uh, or they're they're vesting, or they're staking. Um, you know, whatever the term you want to use, uh, Polis, and they're using Atlas to to re, uh, you know, reacquire new ships and. You're doing a whole bunch of interesting things, but the two currencies behave quite differently. Um, we see different price price behavior um, uh, on the secondary market, but we also see players literally doing things with their currency. We can see exactly where they got their polis from, where they got their atlas from, and where it went. And they go to totally different places, which I think is super fascinating. Um, if there were substitutes in this argument where liquidity is uh, you know, divide, divided among, among the uh, assets, we'd assume that they're just substitutes. I either hold polis or I either hold atlas, but that's not the case. Um, so I think it's actually, you know, for at least for our environment, especially since we do, you know, I, our slogan, uh, our, Michael Wagner says it all the time, power to the people. Um, you know, that that's what we ultimately want to do is, is have this DAO that has, you know, significant ability to influence the environment, um, and it's controlled by the players. I don't really know how you would do that without some sort of voting mechanism, and it just so happens that Polis is a really good way to do that. We see extraordinary, um, extraordinary staking of Polis uh, in our Polis locking program. Uh, people have just an enormous amount of voting power, um, which is really kind of startling. Um, even during the FTX fiasco, um, you know, we just saw such strong behavior in our marketplace for our tokens. Not only were people swapping into our tokens and, and uh, you know, come, kind of almost coming to us, um, they were also, uh, you know, putting these tokens towards these voting programs, which I thought was just mirac kind, of, kind of miraculous, all things considered. Yeah, so I, I think if you're a game that, that doesn't need a, a governance token and it serves no purpose, it's a waste of space. And yes, it is like a, it's needlessly, you know, soaking up people's uh, capital. Um, we, and we don't want that. So I think I think there's an argument for all three models, right? Zero tokens, one tokens, two two token. Yeah, that's kind of my long-winded answer, I guess. Mm -hmm. No, I think that I think that makes perfect sense, and I, I completely agree. Yeah.